Hello guys and welcome back to another class where we are going to learn how to save our confirmation URL, I mean confirmation notifications to the database. If you already know this part, you can skip, no problem. You can meet in another video, but if you don't know how to do it, let's proceed. So I'm going to introduce another dependency here and that is something called produces. And I want to do media types. And we'll bring this one in because we don't have this media type names. We'll use memes like that. Uh, what we brought in, let me show you. Uh, we brought in using system.net meme. Awesome, 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 awesome. Now we are here. Okay. Now everything that is coming here is coming through what we call a body. So we have to do from body. And what are we expecting? We're expecting to get, remember our model, our model was named, let me open this and reduce this size. Our model was M-Pesa C2B model, okay? So every data that we get, we needed to have this M-Pesa C2B uh, and you can call this C2B payments. C to B, C, C to B payments. We need to bring this model. So go here, use the models, and we have everything set. So everything that is coming to this endpoint must conform, conform to this uh, MPESA object. And then what do we need to do? We don't need to do so many things. First of all, we have a response that we're supposed to send back to MPESA. So I can just maybe define it here. So you can say var respond here we're not supposed to send response like successfully inserted to the database or that no we need to send a specific type of uh, response which is going to be uh -huh. I remember it is zero and what we call the response description yeah I was missing it's supposed to be processed like that is supposed to be an echo sign like that and here you can return json and respond like that so this will be what we have here we can just do respond no problem because it's a string right Okay, okay, yeah, uh, we still need to pass this and then we can now do the respond part. But let me just do JSON. Mm, can do JSON response. So this one can be JSON. Like that. Now, uh, what you're going to get here is going to be our the body that Safari consents to us. We'll simulate this one and see, yeah. So for me, uh, before we do that, let me first of all just respond with C2B payments. Like that. Let me just respond with this one. And then I'll bring in my postman. So this postman will send um, the body that Safaricom has shown us here. That body. Yeah, this one. This is what we are expecting to get from them, right? So I'm going to send this on manually using my postman here and we'll see what we're going to get. So this is going to be, let me bring the postman here. So I have the data and I want to send it to which endpoint? It's going to be payments confirmation. So let's copy this. Although we'll need to reload it. Huh? But then uh, is this, this not? Uh, what is 
So we send that and you see that we are able to get the data that we are sending. It is including our ID. Right now I don't have any ID and the time created is it has been automatically generated. Okay. So this means that we can now save this data to a database. So we confirm first of all that the database does not, does not have anything. So let's do this and we have to select all from that. See it's empty. So let's go and create it. For us to now be able to create uh, or to save this to database, we need to bring now our application context here and uh, use dependence injection for it to be able to like sort of extending right so we need to go here and we need to declare the database context here so we'll do private application uh, db context uh, where is it application db context we'll call it uh, db context let me do that Need to bring this one in so using data correct so we have this one we next we need to use our dependence injection like that we call this uh, db context and then we need to have it here so db context is equals to db context so this is now available for us to use it and now saving is very simple. Saving this one is just extremely simple. First of all, we need to, to validate that our model is correct. Okay. So we'll do if and we need to do using model states called model states or models state here. Yeah. Not is valid. So if you send invalid data, it won't work here. So is it, is it a method? Really? No, it's not a method. It's just valid like that the property in it so if it's valid uh, we'll now save it so we'll create we'll do uh, db context dot add and what are we going to add we're going to add our c2b payments then we need to save it so we'll do uh, no need of this but let's just save uh, save response so save response is going to be this is an async task, so it's going to be that. Then db context dot save changes async like that. If it will save, it will just return the I mean true or false. If it saves, it's true. If it doesn't, it's false. So we don't need even to. We need to know. Maybe we'll just write a try catch there. But for now, I think let's say it's saved. We'll be able to see that. So else here, we can just return failed to save. So return here you can log. In production, I've said you don't do return because this is now going directly to Safaricom. So you don't need to send them uh, information about your database or anything. Just return success processed, and then you save this maybe in your logs, and you notify yourself that a payment has failed. But you can do this, and uh, what you can do here is uh, you can return to see whether model state is not valid or not so you can just do return json new and you can say code maybe zero forgetting this is asp so code is zero and error error says model state So if we have that, we're ready to roll. So let's reload this. You're good. Click send. Uh, you could have not deleted the rest. The return. Why is it? Yeah, this one we didn't do that. So let's just do respond. Either way, we have already saved this data. So if you go to our database. And you do again select from that. You'll see that we have the we have that payment here. It is. Eh? So we we now have a record. If we come here and change this amount to 
something like 1000 uh, you also need to change like this uh, send it um, just returning the same but if you now go here you'll see you have another item with ID 2 and this is the transaction ID and the trans time which is the Safaricom time and all that let me zoom out to some like normal size okay zoom out still you can see now we have these tables this table that has the two datas that we've set so this one had 1000 shillings the other one had one shilling let me highlight it again there you go fine so we will again be able to i mean we have been able to process so we've done two things first of all we've registered the urls and we have saved this data and we have again created a model and um, model entity framework and all that so it's very 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 simple to do that so for the other one which is confirmation uh, or validation you can just copy everything that we have here copy bring it down here and this is just validation you don't get to save anything on validation unless you want so this is payment validation so let's change this payment validation you don't get to save that unless you want because it's uh, that's not a complete or a processed payment so once you have that again you have this and when you register the urls here uh, these ones everything flows the way it should you can see everything now clearly okay i'm also going to share this code on my github starting today so if you want to download this code go to my github download it or clone it if you wish to push some changes so it can be maybe something good you're free to do so and let's meet in our next video where we'll do stk push for now that is all i have for you if you're new to this channel as usual kindly subscribe if you are a returning subscriber please leave a comment and like the video and we meet in our next video where we'll do stk as well as pull now the details from the database and displaying them on the interface here otherwise not much to say thank you very much and let's meet